hope all is well. Today is January 29th. I gotta know that. It's, tomorrow's my friend's birthday, so if I forget it, it's over. But anyway, um, today's January 29th. I'm over at a house that the customer is telling. There's a complaint that the electric heat is working only. So they have Fujitsu systems here, as you see. Um, but they also have, I believe, Carrier Infinity. A couple of them. Um, and the property manager told me it's on this side of the house. So let's uh, let's walk over there, see what it is, see what year it is, see the tonnage, all that. Let's see what the problem is. Hope all is well. Coming into February already. This goes quick. Life goes quick. So this is our unit in question. I'd like to see if we have power here. We have disconnect anyway. See the year of it. 2517, five ton. Okay. Boom, five ton system. Doesn't look like it's been running like that one has been. Close to the frost cycle. Um, all right, let's check it out. Let me uh, go inside to the stat and see what's going on with it. It's a nice system though. Inverter board, compressor. See what the error code says on the stat. Let's see. Oh, come on, guy. You told me to come around the side. The door we're gonna prop open a little bit. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Lights over here. Lights, 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 camera action. There you go. All right. Oh, I see this going on. This one over here is the one that was working. I'm just going to replace and reset for them. Cheers. Enjoy my day. running so it must not be it must have been running let's see there's no way it's 69 69 but heat does rise from down there so there's heat everywhere let's go into our service let's see what's going on if there's anything like pair codes we're gonna hold this for seven seconds this hat seven to ten seconds till it turns green let's set up Let's go into AC heat pump. Let's go into heating. <laughs> Wait. Max stage was at one. Yeah, bro. How are you gonna heat? Above 55 degrees. No, no, no. No. Max stage, you could do above 35. Do 30, at above 30, you won't get five, at eh, 25, why not? It'll it'll dial as it should. That's what's going on. Let's see if we get this guy to run. Let me just see something here, RPM is back. Let's see if there's a cooling lock out here. None for cooling lock, I don't like that. But I'm not touching it. All right, done. Now, let's throw the heat up and see if we get the heat pump to run again. It'll heat up here because you have heat everywhere. You have heat, and there's heat right here. Okay, so you have this room will get heated. Down there, you get heat because you have heat everywhere. There's, there's ductless units like on every... There's three ductless units for each side of this building, and there's two... Floors of all ductless, and you have this heated, and that's heat. That's kind of an air heat. Uh, moves there. I guess even though the other one's not a complaint, I want to see what they have there on their heating lockout. Hopefully, maybe somebody just touched it, but they shouldn't even know how to get into that service button unless they watch YouTube. All right, let's see what we got going on. This will take a couple minutes to run. Hopefully that's the problem. To the boom, to the boom, boom. I hear something. 
Use that same unit that was not running, it wasn't heating. <clears throat> Let me go grab a temperature probe for a second. Mm. The moral of the story is, and these units have been here for what, seven years? No. Yeah, seven years now, almost. I mean, I'm sure somebody's touched that along the way. I've been to this house. I come to this house a lot. And I've done maintenance here. I've never seen that. And we usually don't get calls on those two units ever. So let me get in my van. <laughs> so I'm losing too much, getting too much exercise for myself today. I don't, I don't like it. Just kidding. But uh, yeah, let me get in my truck and, and walk and drive back there. Just throw my clamp on it. See, it's heating. And then uh, I got a temperature coming out of the duct. Fujitsu, Fujitsu fan motor replacement warranty today. Passing the job. It was easy. The job was easy. I just kept like putting my tools away at the wrong time and just one of those days. All right, let's see what it is. I'm gonna change the battery before I do. Not a fan of. Let me get my clamp for my meter so I don't have to check pressure. Check the temperature coming out. I think we're going to have heat. I think I have a clamp somewhere in there. Oh, do, do, do. Yeah, there it is. Cool. All right. So if I have nothing, remember that. Stop, stop shopping for convenience, guys. I do it too, but it's killing our country. It's running now. Temp Celsius. Just kidding. Well, you do what you want, but I give credit to people who can figure that. That it's not nonsense because we're really, the I think one of two idiots that use Fahrenheit scale. But I'll tell you zero and thirty-two and a hundred and two twelve. Anything after that, I'm pretty shot. I mean, I think it's I think it's pretty close. Like. I would just see if I had to guess. I would say it's 32 degrees apart, but it's not. <laughs> it's like a sliding scale. Yeah, we're, we're doing well here. Let me go inside and check temperature coming out. Duck socks. They don't have ducks here. They have the, the duck socks or the fan stays running at all times. It's a heat pump heating. Outdoor temperature is 35. Doesn't have to be heating in stage five, but it wasn't running more than stage one, if that at all. I mean, that's crazy. So, this just came up with the gray. That's good. I'm curious to see what they have for the parameters. I mean, I can tell that one was obviously running, so let's see. I'm sure it's fine. You notice there's no heat source here. There's probably no electric heat here because it's heat pump only which is another video you can basically if your heat pump ever fails and you have electric heat backup you can put that on or gas backup whatever whatever kind of backup oh he was literally oh heating yeah so they have 30 degrees the other one at one minimum minimum stage at one at above 55 i think so that's crazy so save this and leave it be I set them back to not run or 69 or 70 whatever they were at it's good it was clearly running and obviously my temperature is going to be lower because it's still at 103 degrees but uh it was good good money all right guys thank you for watching please like and subscribe have a great day have a great rest of your week. YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, whatever you'd like. If you like it. If not, then don't. Have a great day. Take care. Thank you. Yo, but basically this video is... Your heat, if your carrier infinity heat pump is not working or with a lot of nowadays... Like a lot of stuff nowadays has Wi-Fi. So it knows the outdoor temperature. So if you notice like your oil's running extra hard but you put it in a heat pump to save all this money... Check your parameters outside, like, is my heat pump going to run 
and, and make sure it's going to run lower than 55 degrees, that's for sure. But, you know, like, you don't want your oil just running or, or gas if you have two stages of heating or electric. So just just know when they install the new Ecobees, which are carrier, carrier affinities, everything, Nest. They all have parameters. Thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe.